Hey, it's the Creative Gardener again, Amanda Trout, the one and only. <laughs> um, I'm out in the garden and I wanted to show you a little project that I'm working on and it's to help my um, melons. I've got some melon seeds that are growing and I've got some squash seeds that are growing. Um, and so I wanted to plant them out in a particular area to try and see if I can salvage any this year. Um, last year's lot all got eaten. Um, yeah, I think I had one baby um, squash and that got eaten as well. So I'm trying something new and I'll let me let me show you what it is. Okay, um, so I found this metal um, thing under the um, house and I think what it's used for is when you're laying down concrete and to um, keep it sturdy. Anyway, so I thought I would make use of it out in the garden it's creative gardener um, anyway so what I'm gonna do is use it as a trellis so at the moment see I've got my back hedge this is at the back of the house and all the uh, Mexican sunflower are growing wonderfully and um, the only thing I've got to do is fix the gaps that are growing here but as I cut the Mexican sunflower it will start branching out and um, create something like this so you can't it's not something that you can walk through and um, the uh, leaves are providing um, you know shielding or shading or anyway and this is grown from I think there was two two pieces and look how look at the root system there anyway so so what I'm doing, again, this is a slope. And so I've wedged it against the Mexican sunflower and this will grow. So that's fine, that will help keep it sturdy and it will take some of the weight. And so as some of these grow, they will also add to keeping it up. And I've done the same in that corner there and here as well. These are gonna grow um, so I'm just left that there and whichever one whatever else I can add to it I will do like this particular one here it's cut but it will um, send out some side shoots out here so because we're on a slope what I thought I needed to do was to build a ledge so that when it does rain and it comes down this slope it kind of is held up here and the aim is like a, a dam I guess when well, a dam stops the water but what I want the water to be able to do is to slowly trickle down and feed here rather than just rush down here and then into this space where it rushes off and finds the best way down the hill <laughs> because as you can see we're on a slope which I've shown you before in other videos so that's the idea i mean some plants are growing really well despite being on a slope like this bird of paradise and it's sending out you know suckers up the hill because i planted the one that i had down here and it's just multiplied so this is one that you have to really contain if you don't want it to kind of just spread out it will just grow and grow and grow and take over basically but for this back area I'm I'm fine with that because um, you know it's the organic farm on the other side and I want to keep um, this separate so when they've got people in their side you know this is uh, a secluded spot anyway so that's what I'm doing I'm putting some I cut some long pieces of the Mexican sunflower and I'm putting it at the back there and has it this the leaves will decompose quite quickly but the stems will take a bit longer so again just building it up as I go along and I'm going to plant the squash and the um, melons alternate in terms of alternate space and they're going to grow up that's the idea I don't know how many I can put in this space but um, I've got about 10 squash plants so I'm going to put some here and some in other places and I've got about 20 melon seeds and I think it's the Galia melon that um, I just got from uh, we brought 
the fruit and I just took the seeds and put them in the soil to see if they would grow and they've been growing really well so that's another thing that I seem to have quite success with but it's not grown past that stage so the other thing I need to just consider is again we've still got the slope I've got the water um, slowed down behind it but I just want to have a little catchment area where I'm not sure yeah, maybe I need to just plant a bit like here and then in this particular point and then as the water runs down, yeah, so if I water here it will definitely run down and water these particular plants. But I need to have a little groove I think in front of the plants so that the water can then settle, fill up that's the idea <laughs> and then do what it wants to do afterwards because we've got some rains coming up um, in the next week anyway so I'm going to get on with it but that's really the idea and I'm hoping that it works um, but you've got to try anyway so let's get cracking take care for now thank you for watching and I will be um, giving you an update to show you how it's got on <laughs>